Most people are not good listeners. They think they are, but they actually hijack conversations in their desire to identify with someone else. Because we're a listening center at the Distress Center, we've honed active listening to truly stay focused and engaged on what the callers are telling us. So we stay focused on their story and immerse in what's happening in their lives rather than trying to draw a parallel between what we think we understand and what they're trying to tell us. So part of the active listening is understanding the huge difference between empathy and sympathy. The Distress Centre has taught active listening since 1974, and the volunteers have been able to bring the lessons into their everyday lives. Skills that we learned in the volunteer training actually helped me um, with my, my children. So I found when I was doing the training, as much as I already consider myself to be like a good listener and compassionate, empathetic, um, we learned about, you know, validating and, uh, you know, asking questions. And so, you know, I found in a situation where my son was really upset one day, I used the skills that we learned and I was really able to de-escalate a, a tantrum, which, you know, I thought, you know, you just take for granted these skills, but when you put them into practice, uh, they're really helpful. People that are going through it find first their family start saying, you're behaving differently, something's different about you. But we do a lot of volunteers from the student base, people that are looking to learn the skill set so they, they can be better at their chosen careers. So we get a lot of first responders, uh, police, firefighters, 911. Active listening is a crucial skill set that very, very few people actually have because they haven't, they may have read a book on it, they may have taken a short course on it, but you have to practice it. And at the Distress Centre, that's the magic, is that we um, ask for 144 hours after they graduate to be on the line supporting our callers. In addition to practicing the life skill, as a volunteer, you're helping members of the community as they navigate some of the most difficult times. Every call is different, so you don't know what to expect, um, but I did feel much more prepared than I thought I would after doing the training. So, you know, sometimes people call and they're, you know, in a good mood and friendly and they just want to chat. And sometimes people call because they really need you. They need your help. They need you to listen. And so the more I'm on the lines and the more I'm practicing, um, the more I feel comfortable with any, you know, situation someone presents me with. You can apply for the volunteer training at dchalton.ca. It is open to anyone over the age of 19. Anyone. Anyone who's looking to further their communication style, but to give back to their community. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.